Hello everyone, here in the section we have the chain rule theorem, chain rule for functions of one independent variable and two intermediate uh, variables, w equal to f of x, y is differentiable, and f x equal to x t and y equal to y t are differentiable function of t, then composition w equal to f of x t y t is differentiable function of t, and First derivative of w with respect to t and is equal to f of x t y t times x prime t plus f of x t y t times y prime t or first derivative of w with respect to t and is equal to partial derivative of f with respect to x times derivative of x with respect to t plus partial derivative of f with respect to y times derivative of y with respect to t. Uh, we write partial uh, derivative of w with respect to x for partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we can rewrite the chain rule in the form of derivative of w with respect to t. It is equal to a partial derivative of w with respect to x times derivative of x with respect to t plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times derivative of y with respect to t. Use the chain rule to find the derivative of w equal to x times y with respect to t along with the path x equal to cosine t, y equal to sine t, what is the derivative's value at t equal to pi over 2. We apply the chain rule to find derivative of w with respect to t. So this is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x multiplied by derivative of x with respect to t plus partial derivative of w with respect to y multiplied by derivative of y with respect to t. And this is equal to partial derivative of xy with respect to x. So here on this part, w is equal to xy. Then multiply by derivative of cosine t with respect to t. So here x is equal to cosine plus partial derivative of xy with respect to y multiply by derivative of sine t with respect to t. So here on this part y it is equal to sine t. So this is equal to y times negative sine t plus x times cosine t. And this is equal to, so y it is equal to sine t. Here we have sine t times negative sine t plus x it is equal to cosine t. So here we have cosine t times cosine t. And this is equal to negative sine squared t plus cosine squared t. And it's equal to cosine 2t. So derivative of w with respect to t evaluated at t equal to pi over 2. It is equal to um, cosine 2 times t as pi over 2, which is equal to cosine pi and cosine pi. It is negative 1. Chain rule for function of one independent variable and three intermediate variables if w equal to f of x, y, z is differentiable and x, y, and z are differentiable functions of t. Then w is a differentiable function of t and derivative of w with respect to t it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times derivative of x with respect to t plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times derivative of y with respect to t plus partial derivative of w with respect to z times derivative of z with uh, respect to t. Here example find derivative of w with respect to t if w equal to x times y plus z, x equal to cosine t, y equal to sine t, and z equal to t. Using the chain rule for um, three intermediate variables we have derivative of w with respect to t it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times derivative of x with respect to t 
plus partial uh, derivative of w with respect to y times derivative of y with respect to t plus partial derivative of w with respect to z times derivative of z with respect to t and this is equal to y times negative sine t plus x times cosine t plus 1 times 1 and this is equal to sine t times negative sine t plus cosine t times cosine t plus 1 so here we used uh, y equal to sine t and here we used x equal to cosine t and this is equal to negative sine squared t plus cosine squared t plus 1 and negative sine squared t plus cosine squared t it is equal to cosine 2t plus 1 so derivative of w with respect to t evaluated at t equal to 0 is equal to cosine 2 times 0 plus 1 and this is equal to cosine 0 plus 1 cosine 0 it is 1 so here we have 1 plus 1 so this is equal to 2. Okay, rule for two independent variables and three intermediate variables. Uh, suppose that w equal to f of x, y, z, x equal to g of r, s, y equal to h of r, s, and z equal to k of r, s. If all four functions are differentiable, then w has partial derivatives with respect to r and s given by the following formulas so partial derivative of w with respect to r it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to r plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to r plus partial derivative of w with respect to z times partial derivative of z with respect to r and partial derivative of w with respect to s it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to s plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to s plus partial derivative of w with respect to z times partial derivative of z with respect to s. Example express partial uh, derivative of w with respect to r and partial derivative of w with respect to s in terms of r and s if w equal to x plus 2 times y plus z squared x equal to r over s y equal to r squared plus natural log s and z equal to 2 times r so partial derivative of w with respect to r it is equal to partial uh, derivative of w with respect to x multiply partial derivative of x with respect to r plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to r plus partial derivative of w with respect to z times partial derivative of z with respect to r and this is equal to 1 times 1 over s plus 2 times 2 times r plus um, 2 times z multiplied by 2 and this is equal to 1 over s plus 4r plus 4z and this is 1 over s plus 4r plus 4 um, here for z we have 2 times r and this is equal to 1 over s plus 4 times r plus 8 times r and this is equal to 1 over s plus 12 times r And now partial derivative of w with respect to s it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to s plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times 
partial derivative of y with respect to s plus partial derivative of w with respect to z times partial derivative of z with respect to s. And this is equal to 1 times negative r over s squared plus 2 times 1 over s plus 2z times 0. And this is equal to negative r over s squared plus 2 over s. If w equal to f of x, y, x equal to g of r, s, and y equal to h of r, s, then partial derivative of w with respect to r, it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to r plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to r and partial derivative of w with respect to s, it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to s plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to s. Example, express partial derivative of w with respect to r and partial derivative of w with respect to s in terms of r and s if w equal to x squared plus y squared x equal to r minus s and y equal to r plus s. By chain rule, partial derivative of w with respect to r, it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to r plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to r. And this is equal to 2x times 1 plus 2y times 1. So here we have 2x plus 2y and this is equal to, we can factor up 2, so this is 2 times x plus y. And this is equal to 2 times x, it is r minus s and y is r plus s based on what is given here. We can cancel s, so here we have negative s plus s, that part is 0, so we have 2 times 2r, and that is equal to 4 times r. Now finding partial derivative of w with respect to s, it is equal to partial derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to s plus partial derivative of w with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to s. And this is equal to 2x times negative 1 plus 2y times 1. So this is 2y minus 2x, and that is equal to 2 times y minus x, y is r plus s, and x is r minus s. So here we have 2 times um, r plus s minus here we're going to multiply this negative times r, negative times negative s. So instead of x here, use the of r minus s. And this is equal to 2 times r plus s minus r plus s. And this is equal to, so here we have r minus r, that part it is 0. And we have 2 times 2s, so this is equal to 4s. If w equal to f of x and x equal to g of r s, then partial derivative of w with respect to r, it is equal to derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to r and partial derivative of w with respect to s it is equal to derivative of w with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to s. The formula for implicit differentiation 
Suppose that capital F of xy is differentiable and that the equation capital F of xy equal to 0 defines y as a differentiable function of x. Then at any point where partial derivative of capital F with respect to y is not equal to 0, then derivative of y with respect to x it is equal to negative uh, the partial derivative of capital F with respect to x over partial derivative of capital F with respect to y. Now use the previous theorem to find dy over dx if y square minus x square minus sine xy is equal to zero. We can apply a chain rule for functions of several variables. We define the function capital F of xy by um, y squared minus x squared minus sine of xy. So by chain rule dy or dx is equal to negative partial derivative of capital F with respect to x over partial derivative of capital F with respect to y. Partial derivative of capital F with respect to x it is equal to negative 2x minus y times cosine of x times y and partial derivative of capital F with respect to y it is equal to 2 times y minus x times cosine of x times y. So you can also write that we use distributed property negative times and here negative times. So here we have negative times negative two x it is two x negative times negative y cosine x y it is positive y times cosine of x times y over two times y minus x times cosine of x times y. By chain rule, partial derivative of z with respect to x, it is equal to negative the partial derivative of capital F with respect to x over partial derivative of capital F with respect to z. And partial derivative of z with respect to y, it is equal to negative partial derivative of capital F with respect to y over partial derivative of capital F with respect to z. Find partial derivative of z with respect to x and partial derivative of z with respect to y at origin if x cubed plus z squared plus y times e to the x times z plus z times cosine of y equal to zero. First, we find the function capital F of x, y, z to be x cubed plus z squared plus y times e to the x, z plus z times cosine y equal to zero. Y chain rule. Partial derivative of z with respect to x, it is equal to negative partial derivative of capital F with respect to x over partial derivative of capital F with respect to z. And partial derivative of z with respect to y, it is equal to negative partial derivative of capital F with respect to y over partial derivative of capital F with respect to z. So um, partial derivative of capital F with respect to x, it is equal to 3x squared plus yz times e uh, to the xz. Partial derivative of capital F with respect to y, it is equal to e to the xz minus z times sine y. And partial derivative of capital F with respect to z, it is equal to 2z plus x times y times e to the xz plus cosine y. Now uh, we can evaluate each one of these at the origin. Partial derivative of capital F with respect to x, the point 0, 0, 0 it is equal to 0. Partial derivative of capital F with respect to y at the point 0, 0, 0 it is equal to 1. And partial derivative of capital F with respect to z, the point 0, 0, 0 is equal to 1. 
So partial derivative of z with respect to x at the point 0, 0, 0 is equal to negative partial derivative of kappa f with respect to x with a 0 over partial derivative of kappa f with respect to z it is 1. So here we have negative 0 over 1 and that is equal to 0. And partial derivative of z with respect to y at the point 0, 0, 0 it is equal to negative partial derivative of uh, capital F with respect to y it is 1 over partial derivative of capital F with respect to z it is 1. So here we have negative 1 over 1 and this is equal to negative 1.